Intermittent fasting versus ketogenic diet, are they the same? Can you do one without the other? Stay tuned and I'll clarify for you. Hey, I'm Dr. Stan Ekberg with Wellness for Life and by subscribing to our channel, you'll learn everything that you need to know to master true health. What is intermittent fasting? What is ketogenic diet? What is that all about? Well, ketogenesis is when you don't eat carbs for a while, your body learns to develop more reliance on fat. It gets better at burning the fats. Intermittent fasting, what is that? Well, fasting simply means that you don't eat for a while. So basically every night you're fasting for however long you sleep. And the longer that you fast, meaning you don't eat something that can contribute to blood sugar, the better your body gets at developing a reliance on fat for energy. So you start accessing the body's fat stores for energy and part of that process is to create something called ketone bodies that serve as alternate fuel for the brain. The brain can rely on glucose or ketone bodies. The more that you avoid the sugar, the more the body learns to rely on the ketone bodies. So fasting basically means starving. And it's a really bad idea to try to starve yourself unless you have developed a little bit of keto adaptation. You, if you gradually cut out the carbs so that you increase your body's ability to use fat, now you don't have these fluctuations in blood sugar. So if you start stretching out your fasting periods, you're not going to feel horrible. And everything that you do, you want to start thinking about having it sustainable. You want to create lifestyles. You want to create, do things that you can sustain. And starvation is not sustainable. If your body relies on carbohydrates, if your blood sugar goes up and down and you try to do a fast, if you try to do intermittent fasting, if you try to avoid eating for a period of time, you're going to feel terrible. Can you do it? Yes, with a lot of willpower, you can push yourself through a period of time, but it's not really a good idea because it's not sustainable, you're upsetting your body, you're not creating health and balance in your body. So are they the same thing? Not exactly, but sustained fasting leads to ketogenesis or keto adaptation, and that's just the more logical and pleasant way to go about it because once you're keto adapted, once you've learned to rely on fat for energy, you can go longer and longer and longer and eventually probably 18 to 24 hours is not a big deal because your body knows how to sustain its energy level through that. Be sure to let me know what your experiences are. If you have further questions, if you have comments, leave those down below and don't forget to subscribe. We'll get back to you soon. Thank you.